has just released another large 3D printer as part of their H series. Earlier this year, they launched the H2D, which was their flagship model. It featured dual nozzles, a larger print volume, but in today's video, we are gonna be looking at the newest printer, the newest addition to the H series, the H2S. Let's get into it. Bamboo Lab was incredibly generous and offered to send me one of their new H2S 3D printers. I unboxed it and set it up a couple weeks ago. Let's take a look back at how that went. Look how big this thing is! I am so excited to break this box open and see what's inside. I really have no idea. Now this one may be too large to get up on the table, but I'm gonna try. And this is a giant box of filament that I'll get into later. Another box. Oh boy. So this was just a secret box so that I didn't know or shipping didn't know what was inside. Oh my goodness, you guys. You're not gonna believe this. Look what it is, the H2S with an AMS2. I can't believe this. Big box is off. Okay, so opening a P1S, P1P, X1 Carbon, normal sized printers, you would open from the top and they have things where you pull the printer out of the box. But on the top it says, do not open from the top. Please read the steps below to remove the outer box to unlock the box clip fastener. Next, lift and remove the outer box. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so now we have the accessory box. PTFE tubing, desiccant, toolbox, and then spool holder. It says for two people to lift it, but uh, unfortunately it's uh, just me here today. So it's gonna be uh, me and me getting this thing up here, but I think I can do it. Got the printer up on the table and instead of spinning it around completely, I think I'm just gonna turn the table around. Yeah, we got it out of the box. Now, I'm gonna start taking the AMS out of here. The AMS2 Pro. This is my first AMS2 Pro, so I'm pretty excited to have it. Okay, I've almost got everything free. So now I can finally see on the inside. And you can see it has one tool head, one nozzle. The build volume is massive. And the screen, I'm so excited for the screen. This thing is amazing. Okay, let me get these last pieces of foam out of here. I'm releasing the tool head. I think I've finished moving all the foam. There's one more piece. There's still some foam under the bed, but I'll get that out once it starts its calibration. Let's bring the AMS back over here. Remove the tape and the outer packaging for the desk end. Okay, I guess I need to put the glass back up here. All right, it's on. Oh, it's beautiful. While the printer is finishing going through its initial setup, I am gonna start just like I started with the Prusa XL. I wanna print a giant nameplate and see how this printer does. So I've got one pulled up here in the slicer. Let's make it as big as it can go. We also need to get into this box of filament and pick out the color we wanna use for this first nameplate. There are so many fun colors in here. One that catches my eye right at the start is this PLA matte. Apple green, look at that. Super pretty. This might be the one I start with, but I have a lot more in here to unpack. Okay, so we've got, this one is South Beach and it does come with a spool. PLA sparkle, I got the purple sparkle because I love a good purple sparkle and it does come with a spool. And the rest are refill packs, turquoise PLA basic, sky blue, PLA matte. Okay, so we have all of these fun colors that we need to try out and test with this machine. But first, since we're just doing a single color nameplate, man, I don't know, maybe this royal purple sparkle now that I've gotten a chance to look at everything. Oh, there's so many options. I don't know what to choose. All right, let's get this 
New spool opened. Ah, it's in. All right. Okay. Ooh, and when you load one, it shows on the screen which AMS, it's A, and it shows you what is loaded into each of the slots. That is cool. And I'm coming from the P1S, P1P land where we do not have these nice, beautiful screens, but oh boy, am I excited to have a screen. Ah, oh, I love this printer already. But now let's get it running. I've got the print ready. I've got the filament loaded. There's nothing left to do, but hit go. I've got this sliced and ready to send to the printer. It's only gonna take five and a half hours, which is how long it takes to run a normal size nameplate on my P1Ss. That's crazy. It's still 200 grams of filament, but I can't believe it's gonna be that fast. I can't wait to see what this looks like. And it came out amazing. Good bed adhesion, clean top layer, can't ask for anything more. Nameplates were a win. Next, I wanted to print something big, but also practical. And so I found these baskets on Maker World, and they seemed like the perfect choice for my next test print. I ended up printing three different colors of the Bamboo Matte PLA because they're gorgeous. I love these baskets so much. I wanted to keep printing them, but I needed to run some other tests. All right, the third and final basket has finished printing. And so far, I am so impressed with this printer. I just love walking in the shop, just seeing how beautiful and large it is. Oh, I just love it so much. And so I think we need one more test print to really see what this thing is capable of. I need to find one more thing to print. So I'm gonna go to Maker World and I'm gonna see if I can find one more fun thing to print. I'm gonna do it in one of these PLA silks. Let's do this fun Aurora purple. All right, so we're going with the Aurora purple silk and I'm gonna print this awesome spider by 3D Printy on Maker World. And I think that is gonna be a good final test. Maybe I'll print a couple of them. Okay, I've got three of their little skeleton spiders on the plate, the small, the medium, and the large, 250 grams of filament, 15 hours for three of these spiders, which I think is gonna be awesome. I was able to print all three of these at the same time on the bed. I even scaled two of them up a little bit to make them just a bit bigger, but it handled it so well. And this does have some good overhangs, some good bridging, and there were no issues. The design is awesome. I really like this filament. Solid tech. The last thing I decided to print were a bunch of these mini dragons by 3D Gob. If you guys have been here for a while, you know I love their designs and I show them off in probably every single video. But in general, I do print a lot of minis. And so I wanted to test out this printer and see how its multicolor and mini capabilities were. I filled the bed full of these mini dinosaurs, hit go, and it handled it flawlessly. There were no pauses with the AMS. It had good bed adhesion. I have no complaints with how it printed these minis. And so now let's talk about the good and the bad. And we'll start with the bad because there's not much. There's really only one negative and it's only when comparing it to the H2D. The H2D has two nozzles, which in itself may have its own drawbacks and limitations. But with the H2S having only one nozzle, it means that you can use the full plate size and build volume of the printer. It's simple and it's what you're used to coming from the P1s, the X1 carbons, even the A1s. It has the quick swap nozzle, which is a major upgrade coming from the P1s, which is what I'm used to. So not only is this printer bigger, but it's also faster, it has better quality, and it has this amazing screen. The lights inside are such a vibe. I love everything about this printer. And I try to keep things real and show you guys the good and the bad, but when it comes to this printer, there's not a lot of bad. It's mostly good, and yes, I am a Bamboo Lab fan, but even if I wasn't, it's hard to not love this printer. It really is that good. And so I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like this 3D printer. Let me know, are you gonna buy it? What are your thoughts? Are you excited that there is another 
large 3D printer out that's a bit simpler and it does what we want it to do. It 3D prints and that's amazing. If you guys do decide to buy this printer, there is a link in the description that supports the channel at no extra cost to you and I would love for you guys to use that. And I am so excited to keep testing out this printer. Hope you guys are also excited to keep seeing it in future videos. Make sure you stick around for all of the good H2S content that is coming your way. But with that, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my Patreon members for supporting me. Without you guys, I literally could do none of this. So thank you so, so much. This is where we're gonna end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.